And it's amazing how, uh, even though you can show that something works on paper, uh, you know, and, and the calculations are very clear, until you actually have the physical object and they can, they can drive it, it doesn't really sink in for people. Um, and so that, that I think is, is something worth noting. If, if you're going to create a company, the first thing you should try to do is create a working prototype. Um, you know, everything, everything looks great on PowerPoint. <laughs> you, can, you can make anything work on PowerPoint. Um, but if you have, a, if you have an, an actual demonstration article, even if it's in primitive form, that's much, much more effective for convincing people. Now is the time to overrule this administration's pledge to mediocrity. Listen, Tesla's a sell, sell, sell. You don't want to own this stock. You shouldn't even rent the darn thing. Why? Because beyond the hype, there's just not much going on here. Tesla still has yet to turn a profit. That'll be a $1.5 billion company with no profit. Its most recent quarter, it actually lost more money than it did the year before. $1.5 billion, losing more money than the year before. This is a company with limited visibility. You put $90 billion, mm -hmm. like 50 years worth of breaks, into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. Private enterprise will not ever lead a space frontier. Not because I don't want them to, but my read of history, t history tells me they can't. It's not possible. And one of the biggest mistakes people generally make, and I'm guilty of it too, is wishful thinking. You know, like you want something to be true, even if it isn't true. Um, and so you ignore the things that, uh, you, you ignore the real truth because of what you want to be true. Um,